the leadership of the United Nigerians in the diaspora. UND has said that it will embark on massive street protests to some Nigerian embassies in Washington, D.C., some other U.S. cities, uh, US cities London and other major cities in Europe and Asia nations asking for immediate resignation of Chairman of the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and the Senate President, Gossi Akwabio. The diaspora group said that the INEC chairman should resign over what they described as the conduct of a shambolic 2023 general election, elections, why Senate President Akwabio should step aside over the allegation of budget pardon raised against him by some senators. In a statement issued on Monday in Abuja, signed by its president worldwide, Ambassador Yusuf Adeyenka. Uh -huh. Thank God, said no be. I was expecting to say <laughs> the name would sound like a, somebody from the southeast. Uh, before you know it, they will just turn it upside down. Well, and its general secretary worldwide, Comrade Johnson Acheme, the group solicited to uh, solicited cooperation of the international community during the protest period and also urged foreign nations who practice ideal democracy like the Great Britain, United States and other nations of the world to bar the INEC national chairman and his team members, Senate President, Akwabio and indeed the top echelon, echelon of the Nigerian judiciary who partook in deciding the 2023 elections petition tribunal matters from entering their countries. The diaspora group also commended Senator Lingi for his courage to expose budget pardon in the National Assembly. We, the leadership of the United Nigerians in the diaspora, an umbrella body of diaspora groups comprising of Nigerians living in the United Kingdom, United States of America, some European and Asian nations wish to alert Nigerians and the entire international community on our resolve to hit the streets and Nigerian embassies in Washington, D.C., some other U.S. cities, cities, London and other major cities in Europe and Asia nations, where our members are domiciled to protest the conduct of a shambolic 2023 general elections by the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mamou Yakubu and his rogue team. As a body, we have carefully watched the antecedents and actions of the international chairman vis-à-vis -vis the current happening and realities of uh, in Nigeria and wonder what the hell is still waiting for to resign that position. To put the record straight, the 2023 elections where the ineptly corrupt Commission claimed it spent a whooping 300 billion naira was not only the most expensive but also the most incredible in our recent history. We recall first and foremost how the national chairman of the commission in charge of public affairs, a certain Dr. Festus, Festus Okoye, graced every available national and international platforms assuring Nigerians and the rest of the world of a transparent election using the biometric voter accreditation system, various machines that would automatically transmit elections results and data from the various polling units across the country to the Commission Center Central Service. These rather noble technological innovations were applauded as we all believed it would curb the electoral map manipulations and map processes which our electoral system has been known with through the manual accreditation and collation of elections results. According to the statement, the most dis disconcerting is the fact that they said Professor Mahmoud Yakubu is yet being strategically positioned by the Tinubu administration to possibly perfect another fraudulent chariot in the guise of elections for the incumbent government come 2027. So, for emphasis, the global body, while commending some of the northern senators like Senator Ningi for their courage to speak up on the alleged party of 3 trillion naira into the initial leap approved 25 trillion naira by the 
president gives the Senate president, Senator Babius, only 48 hours to honorably resign his position and force and face immediate prosecution. Should he fail to heed, we encourage members of the National Assembly to immediately commence the process of his impeachment as he has manifestly demonstrated incapacity, corruption, and collusion with the executive arm of government. He was ordinarily elected to checkmate in line with the principles of checks and balances as enshrined in the Nigerian Constitution. We also knock the Nigerian judiciary for stamping the fraud and illegality dubbed 2023 elections by Mahmoud and cohorts. The arm of government has since then lost the honor, dignity, and respect of many Nigerians who had relied on it as ordinarily the last hope of the common man to remedy the wrongs and defects in the 2023 election. The group, however, resolved to commence peaceful protests in major cities and embassies in Washington, D.C., other cities where our members reside in their numbers through messages on our placards, we shall insist on the immediate resignation of the INEC national chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, and respectively the Senate president, Gosri Akbabio. We shall continue our legal protests and will not quit or stop until Mahmoud and Akbabio resign their, uh, their positions as the national chairman of INEC and as president of Nigeria's race chamber. We also urge the United Nations, the European Union, and other world bodies to stop them from making a get uh, or getting any form of international honor, recognition, or participating in its activities and engagements. Finally, we solicit this uh, usual cooperation of the international community during this period and also urge use all foreign nations who practice ideal democracy like the great britain and the u.s uh, of the world to bar the corrupt INEC national chairman and his rogue team members senator Pabio, and indeed the top echelon of a uh, nigeria judiciary who partook in deciding the 2023 elections petitions tribunal matters from entering their countries they should confiscate their international passports those of their wives and families and ensure there is no hiding place for the nigeria 2023 election robbers their accomplices or their obviously corrupt enablers <laughs> the question is that uh, why are you people coming out now when the whole thing was us so is it because they they suffering now or you feel that you should you not feel that uh, because the uh, things are not going the way you expected them to be. You are not realizing that uh, the elections that took place, the presidential or the general election that took place was a shambolic. Because I see no reason why you are why you are coming now. I don't know. And then again, that came to mind. Yeah, uh, um, Akbabi has been accused of a uh, padding the budget. The question is that presidency is saying, oh, it is not them that padded the the so called budget. It is a uh, the office of a uh, Akbabio. So why is it that they did not say uh, they now signed this thing? Are they not aware? So what will not happen now? Since they are not aware, are they going to retrieve or remove that uh, two trillion naira from the um, original um, proposed uh, budget? Because at the end of the day, you will not hear anything again. Hmm. Stop supporting illegality. Dead on arrival. Where were you before and? during the entire sham and fraudulent election you also failed to mention the principal actor that legalized massive rigging open judicial highest bidding corruption as never before in the country hmm. okay you are not serious in that diaspora that you must be worried by uh, by mental, uh, by mental, come home and demonstrate and see yourself. It baffles me the level of silence the Nigerian learned classes as a beast when a kite comes to a whiskey, a whisk away, to whisk away a, a chick, and there is no men in that uh, house to shout. The kite uh, must succeed in carrying the uh, chick. Tinubu was that kite. 
but unfortunately no men in the house to withstand that poor old foolish dog barrel it is rather not too late to shoot now is it not too late well let's wait and see i believe that these people who are talking are they they never spoken because people say they're just coming out they've not they've never spoken they've never said anything all this while so is it because uh, i believe that they must have supported this government because uh, the whole thing is now you know working against everybody whether you voted or whether you supported or it's working against everybody everyone is feeling it squarely so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this